Holy cow Alibaba how's everyone today Our fifth day of self drive in Japan was moving to an outskirt area. Away from Kyoto, the first city we are going to explore is Toba, then followed by Gifu and Obama. In each city, we will stay one night. On the way to Toba, we drop by to one of the famous attractions called Okage Yokocho Ancient Street. It is about 110 kilometers away from Kyoto, which takes us about two to three hours to arrive. Okage Yokocho Ancient Street is located in Ise, Mie Prefectures. The street is part of the Ise Grand Shrines Complex, one of the most important Shinto shrines in Japan. The Ise Grand Shrine is located in the eastern part of the city. And Okage Yokocho Ancient Street is located just outside the shrine's main entrance, known as the Uji Bridge. The street is a popular tourist destination that offers visitors a chance to experience traditional Japanese culture and cuisine, with shops and restaurants selling local specialties such as Ise Udon noodles, Akafugu mochi, and other regional snacks and souvenirs. It was a Sunday that we explored the ancient street, full of people from the nearby city. Many of the stores are filled with long lines for food. Some of the must try food are Akafuku mochi. This is a traditional Japanese sweet made from glutinous rice cake covered in sweet red bean paste. Akafuku is one of the most famous and beloved souvenirs of Ise. Ise Udon This is a thick and chewy udon noodle that is a specialty of the Ise Shima region. It is typically served in a hot broth with various toppings. Well, the line to the chewy udon was super long, at least an hour before you get your turn. Tekone Zushi This is a type of sushi that is made with diced and marinated fresh tuna and serve on top of a bed of sushi rice. Ise Ebi This is a local variety of spinny lobsters that is known for its rich and sweet flavor. It can be enjoyed grilled, boiled, or sashimi. Matsusaka beef This is a premium brand of beef that is known for its high-quality marbling and tender texture. It is often served as steak or in hot pot dishes. Mehari Zushi this is a type of sushi that is unique to the Ise region. Made with pickled mackerel and sushi rice, wrapped in pickled mustard leaves. 
It was year end when we visited Okage Yoko Street. Because the ancient street is located near an important Shinto shrine called Ise Grand Shrine, it was crowded with cars and people. Luckily, we managed to park our car in one of the multi story car parking buildings and only have to walk for 5 minutes to reach the ancient street. The shrine is dedicated to the sun goddess Amaterasu, who is believed to be the ancestors of the Japanese imperial family and a central figure in Shinto mythology. The Ise Grand Shrine has a long and rich history. Dating back over a thousand years, the shrine is pretty basic, but you feel the ancient vibes there. In Japan, visiting Shinto shrines during the year end period is a popular and long standing tradition known as Hazumode or the first visit of the year. This is typically done between New Year's Eve and the first few days of the New Year. Many people who wanted to avoid the crowds on the first day of the new year would come to visit the Shinto a few days earlier. They visit shrines to offer prayers for good health, success and other blessings for the upcoming year. They may purchase omamori, protective amulets or emma, votive tablets to write their wishes on and hang them at the shrine. That's the reason why Okage Yokojo Street is full of people. Well, Okage Yokojo Street was created in the 1990s as a way to preserve and celebrate the traditional culture and cuisine of the Ise region. It was designed to resemble the traditional Japanese street from the Edo period, with shops and restaurants offering local specialties and traditional crafts. You can see ancient buildings light up on both sides of the streets and they are great for photography. Since this place is famous for its seafood, the oyster is another highlight here. The Ise Shima region is known for its fresh and delicious oysters, which are harvested from the nearby Ago Bay. The oysters are grilled, raw or tempura deep fried. You can order oyster rice bowl. Fresh oysters are served on top of a bed of rice with their signature sauce to enhance the flavour. Oyster curry is another interesting combination you may want to try. You can hardly find any curry oysters in Japan except here in the Isishima region. We also try out one of the famous dishes here called Shirasudon. Shirasu is a type of small white bait fish that is commonly caught in the waters around the Isishima region, particularly in the nearby Mikimoto Pearl Island. The fish is typically boiled or lightly grilled before being served on a bed of steamed rice. The dish is often accompanied by toppings such as green onions, nori, dry seed, and soy sauce. Shirasudon is a simple yet delicious dish that showcases the fresh and flavorful seafood of the Isishima region. Our shirasu white small fish are raw but very fresh. With added sauces and nori and onions, it was pretty appetizing. You can spend half a day to a whole day exploring these places, including the nearby Ise Grand Shrine. Next, we move to Toba and check in to our hotel called Hotel Wisterian Life Club Toba. It was about 20 km away from Ise Grand Shrine. The hotel provides accommodations with a garden, free private parking, and a shared lounge. It was a low season during our visit in December, so we didn't see many guests. The bedroom was spacious, and the best part is the view. You have a panoramic view of the sea.
There are two beds and an extra futon where you can place in the tatami if you have more than two pets. The hotel provides dinner in bento boxes. It was a big bento with lots of varieties of seafood and meat. Well, we had our bento for our dinner in Yukata provided in the room and sit on the tatami. It was a relaxing night with delicious bento set. The room also has a microwave to heat up the bento and a kettle for hot water for the soup. The bathroom is pretty spacious and it provides you with a little stool to sit on and scrub your body, just like the Japanese style of bath. Breakfast was included as well but it was in the bento set. The portion is smaller than the dinner bento set but still pretty appetizing. It was a Japanese breakfast with rice and miso soup, seafood and Japanese pickle. The nearby attractions are Toba Aquarium, Mikimoto Pearl Island, Futami Sea Paradise, Shima Spain Village and Toba Bay Cruise. Well, we went to Mikimoto Pearl Island and the museum first thing in the morning after we check out from the hotel. There is a fee to enter to the museum and to watch the Ama divers collect pearls from the water. It was freezing cold in the month of December to see two Ama female divers jump into the sea without using any diving equipment, relying only on their breath-holding ability and skillful techniques to collect the pearl. It was a 10 minutes performance to witness ama divers in action as they dive for pearls in the freezing cold sea water. There are time schedules for the ama female divers, so please check the time. The Mikimoto Museum provides the history and culture of ama diving in Japan, as well as the culture of pearl cultivation. I've been to several pearl factories in Vietnam and China, but the Mikimoto Museum has very comprehensive knowledge about cultured pearl history and the making of pearls. It was founded by Mr. Kokichi Mikimoto. There is a huge statue just right outside the museum. It took about half an hour to an hour to complete the museum. There is also a shop selling pearls next to the Pearl Museum. Our lunch was taken in the highway rest area on our way to Gifu City. Japanese highway rest area, also known as service area or rest stop, is a place where drivers can take a break, use restroom facilities and purchase food, drinks and other supplies while travelling on the highway. Japanese highway rest areas are often well maintained and offer a variety of amenities such as restaurants, convenience stores, souvenir shops and play areas for children. Some rest areas also offer services like showers, laundry facilities and pet-friendly areas. In addition, many rest areas in Japan feature scenic views and are designed to provide a comfortable and relaxing atmosphere for travellers. Let's find out what we have for our lunch. 
Usually, customer needs to go to the ticket machines to pay for what they wanted to order, then pass the tickets to the counter, and they will prepare your order. We had some ramen noodles with different flavors, one hot and spicy as you can see in the chili red soup broth. After our lunch, we still go for more snacks. The food stores here are of high quality and at a reasonable price. We always look forward to visiting the rest area on the highway when we are on the road in Japan. It is one of the must-do things for us. Another thing I love about the rest area in Japan is the parking facilities because they are always easy to park in. The shopping here sells souvenirs or Japanese called omiyage, usually food in nice boxes and fancy wrapping paper. Japanese has this omiyage culture where a gift is usually food to give to family, friends or co-workers after coming home from a trip. It is a serious business in Japan and you can't go empty-handed to the office from a trip. We stay in Miyako Hotel Gifu, Nagaragawa. We reach Gifu at around 3 to 4 pm. This is a charming hotel located in Gifu city. There is a nice walk along the river just right behind the hotel. The entrance of the parking is at the other building but was connected to the hotel. There is also bicycle renting if you wanted to use the facilities. Breakfast was in the buffet style with plenty of variety to choose from, both in Japanese and Western styles of breakfast. I love how they have all the local breakfasts such as Japanese kare raisu, natto, onzen tamago, tiny pieces of grilled fish, and many more to choose from. At night, we had our dinner nearby the hotel. We walked for 15 minutes in the neighborhood and found a small yakiniku restaurant. Japanese yakiniku is a popular style of Japanese barbecue that involves grilling bite-sized pieces of meat, vegetables, and other ingredients on a tabletop grill or griddle. The word yakiniku is derived from two Japanese words, yaki meaning grilled and niku meaning meat. In a yakiniku restaurant, diners typically order various cuts of meat such as beef, pork, chicken and seafood as well as vegetables such as mushrooms, onions and peppers. The ingredients are usually seasoned with a variety of sauces and marinades and then grilled to the diner's preferred level of diners. Yakiniku is often served with a side of rice and various side dishes such as kimchi, pickled vegetables and salads. Some yakiniku restaurants also offer all-you-can-eat courses where diners can order unlimited amounts of meat and vegetables for a set price. Over here, there are no buffet courses so we ordered some beef from the menu, mainly wagyu beef. Hida beef, also known as Hidagyu, comes from Japanese black cattle raised in the Gifu prefecture, located in central Japan. 
It is known for its high level of marbling, which gives the beef a tender, juicy, and flavorful taste. Gifu beef is considered one of the top brands of Wagyu beef in Japan, alongside other famous brands such as Kobe beef and Matsusaka beef. The cattle are raised in a carefully controlled environment where they are fed a special diet and given regular massages to maintain their health and encourage the growth of marbling in the meat. The beef is graded by the Japan Meat Grading Association based on its marbling, color, textures, and fat quality, with the highest grade being A5. Gifu beef is known for its A5 grade beef which has the highest level of marbling and is considered the most tender and flavorful. We ordered three portions of Wagyu beef from different portions of the cattle. It was super delicious as this marbling gives the beef a smooth, silky texture that melts in your mouth and also contribute to its umami flavor. It was a super yummy dinner and glad that we tasted Hidagyu beef in Gifu. The total bill only cost slightly over 6,000 yen, that is about 60 Singapore dollars, with three portions of beef and a portion of vegetables, two bowls of rice, some pickles, and cold noodles. One of the top attractions to visit in Gifu is the Gifu Castle. It was originally built in the late 16th century by the warlord Saito Dosan but was later taken over by the famous Japanese warrior Oda Nobunaga. The castle is situated on top of Mount Kinka, overlooking the city and the Nagara River. It was strategically located to provide a strong defensive position for the rulers of the region as well as a commanding view of the surrounding area. You can see the castle on the highway before entering Gifu city since the castle was built on a high land. There is a huge car park in front of the Gifu park. You can park your car there. The ropeway departs from the base of the mountain and takes visitors up to the castle in about 5 minutes. The ride offers beautiful views of the city and the surrounding mountains. Once you reach the top, there is a short walk up to the castle. If you choose to enter the Gifu castle, it has several floors and you can see displays of the ancient weapons, armor, and other artifacts used from the castle's past. There is also a viewpoint where you can enjoy panoramic views of the whole city of Gifu. You find a squirrel park located near Gifu Castle, right after you come out from the ropeway. The park is called King Kazan Squirrel Village. In the park, visitors were given squirrel food once they purchased their ticket. Visitors also need to wear plastics and cloth gloves to feed the squirrels by hand. The squirrels are quite used to human interaction, so they are generally not afraid to come close to people especially when they see food on your hand. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work 8 hours, I'ma work 9 If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks After visiting the castle, we drive to the next city called Obama we wanted to visit Obama simply because the name Obama sounds exactly like the US ex-president, Obama. It is a very small city located in the Fukui prefecture. It is situated on the coast of the Sea of Japan.
Our lunch was on the highway rest area again. We ordered some noodles and snacks for our lunch. Again, go to the ticketing machines to order what we want and then pass the tickets to the counter where they will prepare our meal. We didn't choose to stay in Obama city because there isn't any decent hotels. The population is only about 28,000 people, so you can imagine how small the city is. We went to check out this rustic old town. Can't really see many people walking in the city. We strolled in the beaches for a while but it was too cold from the sea breeze so we had to rush back to the car and move to our hotel called Umimpia. Umimpia Hotel is about half an hour drive from Obama. The hotel looks pretty new and easy to locate. Nearby, there are supermarkets and some cafes where you can just walk over. There is an onsen bath facilities where we were given free tickets to enter the onsen. The onsen bath is also open to the public and the ticket to enter the onsen is 800 yen. That is 8 Singapore dollars if you don't stay in the hotel. The room is very spacious and it has two beds and a tatami area with a small table. We bought our bento and snacks from the nearby supermarket for our dinner. I love to explore Japanese supermarkets simply because they have high quality, fresh seafood. You can find a variety of seafood, including sushi grade fish, crab, squid and more. We had a long leg crab and since it is already cooked, so we can just eat it like that. Many Japanese supermarkets have a section for prepared food, including sushi, bento boxes, and other pre-made dishes. We also bought some fresh fruits, such as Japanese grapes and strawberries that are in season. Snacks are another section that we would spend hours looking at and choosing especially the Japanese dessert and sweets like mochi and dango. If you travel to Japan, please do try the Japanese strawberries. They are known for their high quality, sweet flavor and delicate texture. It is so so smooth the moment you bite it. Japanese strawberries are often sold at a premium price due to their high quality and the care that goes into their cultivation. So they aren't cheap at all. A small box can cost about $10. They are typically in season from January to May. Now my final thoughts for you. With a rented car, we are able to explore the outskirt area in Japan such as Toba, Gifu and Obama City. There are many advantages of staying in Japan's countryside. You can feel and appreciate the beauty of nature firsthand. Usually, the countryside is surrounded by tall mountains, green valleys, deep forests and rivers. If you love nature like me, you will love it. The countryside sceneries is always so beautiful and relaxing. 
Less pollution and noise, quiet and serene. Most importantly, the things are cheaper, such as accommodation and food in the restaurants. Japan's countryside can offer you unique and memorable experiences. You can expect quiet surroundings that allow you to feel serenity, peace, and relaxation. These include hidden gems like shrines, temples, and my favorite, ryokans. For example, the price of the accommodation is so much lower as compared to the city, but with a very spacious room. The hotel usually offers free parking and a free onsen bath. Locals who live near the countryside may not be very fluent in English, but with the phone translator, there is no problem at all in communication. You can truly immerse yourself in Japanese culture and see how the local people live their daily life. Well, if you enjoy my travel stories, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye bye. See you next time.